Um, can you hear me now? I think there was some issue with my AirPods. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. All right. Um, let's start again. All right. Come into hero pose. Sit on your heels. Option to bring some blocks in between the heels for some support. And just let rest uh, your hands on top of the thighs. Your eyelids getting heavy, perhaps gradually close eyes. And slowly let the psych of your breath taking the priority of your practice. You can even introduce a little bit counting for your each inhale and exhale. Let things getting quiet down. Let the sound of your breath getting more noticeable. Get attached to the sound because that is going to be something that carry out through the practice today. Which with each inhale, your body get more spacious. With that, each exhale, your body get more relaxed. Remember the state of your body in each part of it, including the transitioning from inhale to exhale and from exhale to inhale. Memorize that state. And perhaps even start planning a little bit, see how you can come back to those stage once we start moving, start flowing. And you can stay in this Pranayama practice. And if you are a runner and you'd like to add a little bit more calf stretch, um, find the blanket or something similar, roll into a tube along the longer edge of the blanket. Something like, like this. And bring it behind the knees. And 
If you don't have something like this, it's totally fine. Just stay in Virasana. And if you like to try the stretch, but we don't, if you if you don't have a blanket nearby, any thing that looks like a stick or a roll will work. But even if you go decide to go with a stick, try to pat something around that stick so you're not shocking the muscles behind your legs. Take a couple more rounds of long breath. Remember, we were trying to find, remember the state of our body when we are in the most natural cycle of our breath. Relax the shoulders, let them drop away from the ears. Relax the face. Relax your jaw. And if you do have that row or stick behind the knees, you can move it a little bit further away from the knees. So, so it's in between different muscles, different part of the muscles. Continue to connect to the sound of the breath. Continue, let the breath be the priority. If you notice that your breath get a little bit more restricting, rushing, it is a sign, it is the sign that your body is trying to give to you that you're not in the perfect position to take your breathing as priority so you can adjust it, either remove the roll of the blanket or extend your legs long or adjust the height of the block that's in between the knee, uh, the heels. And we'll move it last time, move the roll of the blanket closer to the heels and come back to Virasana. It depends on the flexibility of the top of the feet. This might never work for you. If that's the case, tuck the toes and just sit on the heels that way. If this is the first time they're practicing with me, remember everything I provide through the practice is optional. I'll try to provide as many as variations through the practice, but feel free to go into any shape that makes sense to you in the moment. Take one last big inhale in Virasana. And exhale, let everything, everything out. And slowly blink open the eyes toward the ground first. Then raise up your gaze. If you're still in Rurasna, remove the block, remove the blanket. You can keep the blanket that way. We're going to use it at the end of practice. If you have sensitive knees, you can bring the blanket um, about two thirds away to the back of the mat. We're going to use it to pad out the knees. And Extend the legs long, just shake the legs, release the tension from the top of the feet. Option to bring the feet close to the sacrum, hands behind you. I'll switch to this side so you can see me and press the pelvis up into your reverse table. Press firmly into the palms, evenly into the four corners of the feet. Let the collarbone be spread it. And see if you connect back to your breath, letting it be the highest priority again. Next, I'll release our hips down. 
And we'll sit in back into a rasana. And this time, push the hips toward the heels. Come into balasana, baby pose. Reach the hands forward and reach the hips toward the back. It's subtle, but both sides of the waist are getting grown longer and longer. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, walk the hands to the left side. So both sides waist still growing, but the right side it will feel a little bit more sensation. Option two, cross your left hand over the right. Find back the sound of your breath again. One deep inhale, breathe in the right shoulder. And exhale, walk yourself back to center. Deep inhale to neutralize. And exhale, walk yourself to the right side. Press the left hip, left sit bone towards the left heel. And now on the next exhale, walk yourself back to center. And come up onto a table. Hands right underneath the shoulders. Knees underneath the hips. Tuck the toes. Move through some cow and cat. Inhale. Lower the belly. Pull the chest forward. And exhale, round the upper back into a cat. We'll do some rounds of that. You can option to flip the hands, especially if you work with the keyboards a lot. Get some wrist to stretch. You can add also add any other movements. You can do side to side. Once you're ready to come back to neutral, tuck the toes if you haven't done so, and straighten the legs, push the tailbone toward the sky, come into the first downward facing dog, at Homo Kashuanasana. Press into the palms, press into the knuckles. Keep some micro bend in the legs, especially if this is the first down dog of yours today. And if you have tend to have tight hamstrings like I do, Bend through one leg and another. Make some flexibility in those hamstrings. You can also rock forward into a high plank, then rock back into downward facing dog. If none of this working for you, you can come down and back into table, come down to child pose, or move in between cow and cat. And if you decide to stay in downward facing dog, feel that opposite energy pushing into the palms, but also press the, your chest toward the thigh bones. Imagine there's a line with two arrows going opposite directions. Are you still taking your breathing as your priority? If you're not, perhaps downward facing dog is not the fastest place you should be. And once you find your stillness in your downward facing dog, rock forward into a high plank. 
I'm gonna lay the knees down and back into a table. Step your left leg long. Press into your left heel, and just rock forward and back. See if you can find the point that you can. The getting the most stretch of the back of the leg, but also not sacrificing the quality of your breath. Pull the navel toward the spine. Then make sure your shoulders are back above the hands. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, lift your left leg up. And this is where you can evaluate that if lifting your right hand will sacrifice the rhythm of your breathing. You can extend the right arm forward to the side. And if it works for you, you can also bring the right hand by your side towards the back, palms facing down. Feel that pull of your right shoulder coming from the right hand. If you're noticing your breathing getting restricted, perhaps re release your right hand back down. Take a deep inhale, lengthen the crown of the head toward the front, kick the left foot toward the back, and exhale, draw the left knee and right elbow underneath you. Inhale, everything back to where it was, left hand, on the ground, left foot toward the back, right hand by the side. Now exhale, draw the left knee and right elbow underneath you. One more time. Inhale, extend your left leg long, right hand toward the back. And exhale, draw your left elbow, right elbow rather, left knee. And extend out again. And release your right hand down, refocusing your core. You can release your left foot down. Option two, tuck your right foot and straighten your right leg. Kick the left leg straight up into a down dog split. Take a one round of long breath in this down dog split. If this doesn't work for you, release the left foot down. And exhale, draw the left knee into the chest. Step the left foot inside between the hands. Release your right knee down. You can adjust the position of the blanket, especially if you have sensitive knees, into a low lunge under your nasana. Find the blocks if you have them. Sink the pelvis toward the ground with the right front hip getting open. Hugging both thigh bones toward the middle line. If you don't have blocks, you can also put your hands on top of your left thigh. Continue to release the shoulders away from the ears. Deep inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, pin the left hip toward the back into Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Straighten the left leg, press into the left heel, pull the left toes towards you. Inhale, pull forward into a low lunge again. Exhale, tuck your right toes, lift your right knee up, hands on the blocks, runner's lunge. Straighten both legs. Press the right heel toward the ground, pull the left heel, push the left heel into the ground and pull the left toes towards you just as we did in half split. Lower down and to a runner's lunge and to a low lunge, inhale, chest forward, 
Relax. So pin your left hip back. Pull the left toes towards you. Inhale. Forward. And exhale. Tuck your back toes. Straighten into a pyramid pose. With the left toes, pull towards you. Inhale. Release down into a low lunge. Exhale, pin your left hip back. Float twice more on your own with the pace of your own breathing. And do make sure you still take that as a priority. And I know in a lot of practice, people take the physical postures as the highest priority, but Remember in the eight limbs of yoga, asana is only one of the limb and it's not the first one, it's not the last one. Once you're back into a low lunge, press into a half split. And this time, use the left hand, gently pull the left toes towards you. Give your left calf a little bit more stretch. And don't forget to breathe. If you notice there's some um, pause of breathing or uneven of inhale and exhale, bend your left leg as much as you need until you find back the state of your natural breath. Bend into your left leg again on the inhale. And exhale, come into a pyramid pose. Press into your left heel. Pull your left toes towards you. If that works for you, you can also use the left hand here to pull the left toes. One more deep inhale. So bend into left knee and step your right foot lightly to meet with the left and fold over the legs. If you have the blocks, you can, two ways you can do here to stretch the back of the legs. You can rest the hands on the blocks the tallest way, come into a half lift, lengthen the spine shooting the energy out to the crown of the head. You can also fold the legs, leave some micro bend behind the legs and rest your elbows on the blocks. If you don't have the blocks, you can just uh, stack your elbows on top of each other. Both of them will stretch the back of the legs, just a slightly different part of the hamstrings and the glutes. You choose which one works better for you. And of course you can try both. Deep inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half split, half lift, rather. Back, so walk the blocks or walk the hands to the left side. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, walk yourself back to center. And we'll walk yourself to the right side. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, come back to center. Rise all the way up. Udva Hastasana. And exhale, hands to our center. Tadasana. Close the eyes briefly. Engage the front of the legs. Pull the kneecaps towards your pelvis. Standing strong through both feet. And 
just use this quiet moment to recheck the rhythm of your breathing. Make sure it's still in aligning with your practice. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, auto tanasana. Exhale, step left and right. High plank. Option to release the knees down if you notice the sacrifice of the breathing. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale, knees up or down, bend through the elbows, keep hugging the elbows towards your chest and release all the way down to the belly. Inhale, hugging the elbows in, lift the chest up. Bhujangasana. Exhale, release down. Extend the arms toward the back, palms facing down, big thumbs facing out. Press into the top of the feet. Create that opposite stretch first. One part of the energy going through the crown of the head to the front. Another one goes toward the back, through the toes, toward the back of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest up. Option two. Float up your palms into Ardha Shalabhasana, half locust pose. Deep inhale. Keep yourself float. Exhale, release down. Let's do one more time. Inhale, lift the chest up, lift the palms up. Option to float up the top of the feet as well this time. Deep inhale. Exhale, release down. Bring the hands by the chest and press yourself into a child pose. Asana. Use this restive pose to recheck your breath again. And exhale, press your into the palms, tuck the toes, and press the hips toward the sky into downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, rock forward, release the knees down into a table. And we'll do the other side. Extend the right leg back. Just rock back and forth. Flow with the rhythm of your breathing. And find that point that same as the other side gives you a good sensation of stretching the back of the leg, but also keeping the quality of the breathing. Can be the same spot as the other side, can be a different spot. And in fact, uh, because we tend to put different weight on different feet on a daily life. So oftentimes different size feels different in the same, same shape. And come back to neutral, shift your shoulders above the hands again. Deep inhale. And exhale, float the right leg up. Flex the right foot. Firmly press the right heel into the wall behind you. And re you evaluate if you can float your left hand up without sacrificing your breathing. Come toward the front, to the side, and to the back. Engage the center of you. Deep inhale, reaching long through both directions. Exhale, draw the right knee, left elbow underneath you. Inhale, extend the right leg again. Exhale, knee to elbow. One more time. The last time, extend your right leg back. Release the left hand if this floating. Tuck your left toes. Use the right heel to lead yourself 
press enter down dog split. Keep the right foot flexed, pulling the right toes down toward the ground. Deep inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, draw the right knee into the chest and step the right foot in between the hands. Release your left knee down onto the blanket or onto the mat, depending on if you have sensitive knees. And find the blocks if you have them and let your pelvis sink toward the ground. If you don't have the blocks, rest your hands on top of the right thigh. We're opening this side of the front hip. Deep inhale, spread the collarbones. Exhale, straighten the right leg, pin your right hip back, flex the right foot, right toes towards you. Inhale, Andrea Nasna. Next, our Ardha Hanumanasana, straighten the right leg, press into right heel. Inhale, go into the low lunge again. Tuck your back toes, straighten both legs, and pull the right toes towards you into pyramid pose. Your left heel may or may not touch the ground, it's fine. You can be on the top ball of your left foot, you can also press the left heel into the ground. Inhale, release down into a low lunge. Exhale, press into a half split. Tucking both thigh bones towards the midline. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten both legs. Last round. Inhale, exhale, breathe into a half split. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, straighten both legs. Come lower down to low lunge. We move into half split one more time. And this time, Option to stay here. Option to use your right hand to pull your right toes, the ball of the right foot towards you. Give your right calf a deeper stretch. If you don't have a block in your body to support, you can move yourself close to a wall so your left hand can be on the wall for support. Deep inhale. Exhale, bend into low lunge. Rise up into a pyramid pose. Same as half split, pull the right toes towards you. Option to use the right hand to pull the ball of the right foot a little bit closer to you. Bend into the right leg. Step your left foot lightly to meet with your right. And fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen spine, hands on the block, on the shin. And exhale, fold over the legs. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, out of nasana, flat back. Exhale. Fold of the legs, Uttanasana. Raise all the way up. And hand through heart center, Tadasana. Option to close the eyes, come into the intention of Tadasana. Recheck the breathing. Recheck your priority.
Once you're ready, start slowly blink open the eyes. We'll flow through some Surya Namaskar B today. If you'd like to stick to other sun salute, please go for it. And I'll flow with you one round on each side, and I'll give you time to practice on your own. Inhale, sit into chair, lower your hips down, arms by the ears. If your arms with this does not work for you, hands will be on the block to support your chair. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine, auto tanasana. Exhale, step your left foot and right foot back into a high plank. Knees up or down, deep inhale. And exhale, can release all the way down to the belly or halfway. Inhale, pull the chest forward, straighten the arms into Urdhava Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, push your tailbones up, flip your feet into Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Step your left foot to the left arm. Spin down your right heel, right foot about 45, 60 degrees to the right side. Bend into the left leg, almost by the ears first, and right all the way up. Bend into the left leg into warrior one. Press into the pinky edge of the right foot. Deep inhale, lengthen both sides of the waist. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot back. Move to vinyasa, deep inhale. Exhale, bend through the elbows, all the way down or halfway, pull into upper facing dog. Then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the right thumb, spin down your left heel, bend into the right leg, arms by the ears, and rise all the way up into warrior one. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, release the hands down, step your right foot toward the back. Release toward the ground. Inhale. Back bend of your choice can be Pujangasana, can be upper facing dog. Exhale, push your tailbones up. And all those things I mentioned are replaceable. Stay in the downward facing dog for three to five rounds of breath. If one of the back bend I mentioned does not work for you, you can just come down to your knees, move through cow and the cat. If downward facing dog does not work for you, you can come into a child pose. Especially if downward facing dog is not a place for you, take your breathing as your highest priority. And perhaps trial pose is a better place to be. In the bottom of the next exhale, step by step, a hop forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, sit in the chair, arms by the ears, sit your hips down. And exhale, rise all the way up and through the heart center. We'll flow one more round on the other side. Inhale, sit in the chair. Exhale, fold all the legs. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step right and left toward the back. Deep inhale. And exhale, bend through the elbows. Come into back bend of your choice on the inhale. Exhale, push the tailbones up, push into the palms. Step left foot to the left arm, spin down your right heel. Rise all the way up into Rabha Jasna one, warrior one. Press firmly into the pinky of the right foot. Both hands down. Step your left foot back. Move to Vinyasa of your choice. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Step the right foot to the right thumb. Spin down the left heel. Rise up. Release the hands down. 
Step your right foot back. Deep inhale. Exhale, release down. Inhale, pull the chest forward. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog for three to five rounds of breath. A child pose. Be truthful with your breathing. Let the pace of your breathing guide you instead of the other way around. The shapes are not the most important thing in our practice. If we don't give space to our breathing, we don't give space to our mind practice. In the bottom of the next exhale, step by step, a half forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, follow the legs. Sit into the chair. Rise all the way up into heart center. Float one more round on your own so you can include some personal practice tonight. And we'll all meet at the front of the mat. If it's still flowing, take your time. If you got tired, and come into a rested shape, feel free to stay there. And once you arrive to the front of the mat, find the blocks and bring them to the top of the mat, the tallest the height. Bring the feet as wide as the hips and sit your hips down into a supported chair pose. Deep inhale, pull the chest forward and exhale, Option to come up onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, release the uh, heels down. Come back into supported chair. And exhale, walk up. One more time. Once you're back to a supported chair pose, press the palms together. And bring the right elbow on top of your left thigh. 
lightly step your right foot toward the back into a simple twist. Use the resistance created between the palms to help to open your chest, open the shoulders. Then bring the hand inside of the legs and walk your hands to the right side. Bend into the right, straighten the left leg. We're shifting between sides, bend into the left, straighten the right, Skandasana. You can choose a frequency you decide to go to be half breathing, each flow can be one full sound, full cycle of breath. Once you're ready, bend into your left leg again. And find the blocks. Support yourself into a high lunge. Come up onto the ball of the right foot. Press the right heel toward the back. Straighten the right leg. Deep inhale. Exhale, let your body get longer. Shooting energy towards the opposite direction. One part of it goes through the crown of the head toward the front. Another part of it goes through the right heel toward the back into the ground. And step the blocks toward the front and lunge into a supporter warrior three. Hands on the blocks, flex the right foot. Keep your right leg straight and float. If you find that your breathing getting restricted again, Shift your focus from lifting your right leg, which a lot of people tend to do because, because just because it looks pretty, but maybe your hamstrings are not ready for that yet, so you can release it. You can even totally just release it down toward the ground and focus more on the breathing. So keep your right leg float only to the point that still gives you capacity to breathe naturally. Option two, only if it does not hurt the quality of the breathing, bring the hands in front of the heart for prayer. Standing strong on the left leg. Then release your right leg down, bend into one leg and another. Option, step your left foot back and just roll around the left ankle. And we'll float the other side. Bring the blocks tallest height at the front of the mat again. Sit your hips low. Inhale, pull your chest forward. Exhale, rock forward. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, release the heels down steadily. Exhale, rise up. One more time like that. And gather the hands at prayer in front of the heart. And bring the left elbow on top of your right thigh. Twist yourself to the right side. Hug the left heel to the left side bone first. Then step your left foot lightly toward the back into a simple twist. Adjust the length of the left leg. Press the back of the left knee toward the sky. Use the resistance between the palms to help you to open the shoulders. Deep inhale, lengthen to the spine. And exhale, revolve the rib cage toward the sky. Release both hands down on the ground. Walk yourself to the left side of the mat, bend into the left knee. Straighten the right leg, bend into the right, straighten the left. Switch in between Skandasana. And 
next time when you bend into the right leg again, find the block, bring them by the side of the right foot, and underneath your shoulders on the blocks, into a high lunge. Remember what we did on, on a table pose, drop your left foot, rock yourself back and forth, strengthen the left leg, the back, stretch the back of the left leg. Find your breathing, find the voice of your breathing. Step strongly through the right foot and step the blocks forward. Launch into warrior three. Imagine there's a wall behind you and you're stamping that left heel onto the wall. Hugging the right outer hip in. Option to gather hands as prayer in front of the heart. Find a steady point on the ground that you can focus on. Deep inhale, opposite energy shooting out through the crown of the head and the left heel. Next, so release the left foot down. Just bend into one leg at another. And also just shake the legs, standing up. Anything that helps you to release the tension from the right ankle and the hamstrings. And if you practice with me before that, we often time flow this part twice with a little bit add on. So bring the blocks back to the front of the mat. You can sit down into a supported chair pose. And you feel like if you don't need the blocks here anymore, raise up the arms by the ears into a traditional chair pose with Kanasana. Deep inhale, chest forward. And exhale, rock your arms toward the back, rock onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, arms forward into with Kanasana chair pose. Exhale, walk down to the balls of the feet, arms toward the back. One more time. Release back into chair pose. And hook the right elbow onto the left thigh. Step your right foot back. And this time, option to open the arms. Deep inhale, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the back of the right leg. And exhale, revolve your left hand toward the sky, revolve your chest up. Release both hands inside of the feet. Walk yourself toward the back, bend into the right leg. Bend into the left. Option to bring the hands as prayer in front of the heart, which means you're getting less support from the ground. And you decide if it's worth to, if it's taking priority away from your breathing. Bend into the left leg again. If you need the block, it's still there. Make sure you use them if you need. And come into a runner's lunge, straighten the right leg, bend into the left. Hands on the ground or on the blocks. Then float your both arms toward the back into an airplane. Deep inhale, pull the chest forward. Feel the opposite energy flowing to the front and the sky, and all the way to the back end of the ground. And you either help the blocks or not, launch into warrior three.
standing strong on the left leg. Imagine your right foot is stepping on the wall behind you. Deep inhale, feel your body getting lengthened. And exhale, release your right foot down. Step your left foot a little bit back and roll around the left ankle. Good news, we have only one side to go. So hang in there. But if you decide to come early into restive shape, please do so. And now sit into chair pose. Axel, rock forward onto the toes. Inhale, arms forward, chair pose, Uttanasana. Now exhale, balls of the feet, arms toward the back. One more time. Come back in the chair. Bring the left elbow onto the right thigh. Step the left foot toward the back. Simple, simple twist. Option to open the arms here. And release both hands to the left side. Walk yourself toward the back, straighten the right leg. Option to lift your hands away from the ground for the Skandasana. We'll slow down soon. When you bend into the right leg again, find the blocks if you need them. You can always start with the blocks and remove the blocks if you don't need the support. And float up your palms toward the back, arms by the side. Airplane. Deep inhale, and exhale, lunge into a warrior three. Standing strong on the right leg, left foot toward the back, the crown of head toward the front. And there's also energy shooting out of your fingertips toward the same direction as the left heel. Deep inhale, exhale, release your left foot down, and this time, lower your hips down into my last man yoga squat. You might need to slide a block underneath your hips for this malasana. And bring the elbows against your thigh bones, press your palms together. Lengthen the spine by reaching the crown of the head toward the sky. And just let your sit bones drop into the blocks We can stay here for most of the part of the winding down part. You can also bring the right foot to the left inner thigh. For this part, you can pop yourself onto a folded blanket. And bend your right knee and straighten your left. Just taking advantage of all the hamstring stretch we did tonight. Walk yourself facing your right knee. Raise up your right arm. And exhale, side bend to the left leg. You might find yourself that each inhale, your right side body grow taller. And each exhale, you release a little bit closer to the left leg until you do not anymore. And that's your body is giving you message that 
no more pushing. Otherwise, you're letting the shapes taking the priority away from the breath. One more deep inhale. Next up, all the way, rise up. Right hand behind you. And swing your left arm by the ear and press your pelvis up. With the left side getting elongated after the compression. Press firmly into the right palm. Stretch into the left heel. And reaching long through the left hand. Exhale, release your hips down. We'll switch side. Bend your left leg. Straighten the right leg. Left foot to the right inner thigh. Frame your left knee with your arm first. Reaching long through the spine. And extend the left arm by the left ear. Deep inhale. Exhale, side bend to the right leg. The left hand may or may not touch the right foot. And again, breathe is a first priority here. And on next exhale, slowly rise up. Left hand behind you. Let's bring the right arm by the right ear. Press the pelvis up. Just release down. Bring the soles of the feet together and draw the heels close to the pelvis. And hands holding the feet. Deep inhale. Now exhale, press the elbows into thigh bones and fold over for the canal stand. Just let things getting slow again. Invite your natural breath coming back to you if you got lost or somewhere. Slow to rise up. And for today's, I'd like to introduce a little bit restorative um, postures. I have two offerings here. If you have a rolled blanket, bring it onto the mat the longer way. And you can sit yourself. One end of the mat is at the lumbar spine where your spine started. And then start roll yourself onto the blanket. You can keep your feet at the Baddha Konasana posture. So with feet together, knees draping open. 
it's slider block and it's your outside of your thigh bone to catch the weight. You can also keep the legs long. This is a little bit similar to supportive fish pose, which gives you a more opening at the front body. You can stay here. You can also bring the blanket close to the feet, bring the soles of the feet together and wrap the blanket around the ankles and find the blocks medium height to the place about where your lower shoulder blades are. Another lower medium height or highest height behind it. Then lower your shoulder blade onto the first block in the back of the head and the second block and just lay your arms straight open. Both gives you a good shoulder chest opening. And we'll take some long cycle breath over there. If you have an eye pillow, this is a great place to rest them on top of your eyelids. And I know I've queued a lot of props, but if you happen to have any other props near you, like a couch pillow, you can add them to make this even more supportive. It can be under your hand, it can be over your pelvis area. what it's like to reconnect with the breath again. Even though we tr we've been trying to not lose the connection through the practice, through the asana practice, but inevitably sometimes other things that seems like higher priority emerges and we lose that, con that connection briefly. No matter if you are lying on a row of blanket or you are on the blocks, feel free to stay here for 
the Shavasana today. If you like to come into traditional Shavasana, carefully remove the blocks, the blanket, and throw out the limbs. Like the let the back of your body sinking into the space underneath you. Shavasana. If you have nowhere to rush to after practice, feel free to stay where you are. If you're ready to come out, so gently wiggling your toes, your fingertips. And carefully bend one leg and another into you. Then roll onto one side. Use that moment as a bridge, connecting your practice on the mat and your life off the mat. And with that, navigate yourself to a comfortable seat. And if it resonates gesture for you, get the hand in front of the heart one more time. Take a deep inhale. Now exhale out everything out. One more deep inhale. Now exhale everything out. And bow your head toward the heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me tonight. I look forward to seeing you again. When you're ready, slowly blink open the eyes.